And now to a local 10 news investigation video just uncovered from the day of the airport attack. It shows a woman running for cover but taken down by a police canine. Investigator Bob Norman is working this one for us. There's a pandemonium going on with guns drawn outside. You've seen the chaos. Watch the video of Esteban Santiago open fire at the baggage claim and heard the frightened 911 calls as a mass shooting left five people dead. They're shooting where exactly where she's at right now. But here's something you haven't seen from that day. An airline passenger, Katera Smoot, who's a manager for State Farm Insurance, being mauled by a Broward Sheriff's Office canine in Terminal 2. The attack goes on for 48 seconds while Smoot's mother calls for help. The first officer who arrives stands back apparently suspicious for several seconds before a second officer finally comes in to stop the attack. Smoot, according to her attorney David Gold, was running with her mother from what she believed may have been another shooter and sought refuge in an empty and unlocked police vehicle which according to the BSO incident report was emblazoned with the words, caution, work dog. She's in physical therapy right now. I was able to reach Smoot's mother, Sharon Miller, but she referred me to attorney Gold, who said Smoot suffered serious injuries to her arm, hip, and face in the January 6th attack. Gold has sent BSO a letter of intent to sue, alleging negligence for failing to secure the vehicle and the dog. Bob Norman, Local 10 News. Chilling video to watch. BSL provided no statement on the potential lawsuit, but pointed out that officers reported that Smoot apologized for opening up the door of that BSO vehicle after that attack, telling officers she didn't see the dog warning in her panic.